uh, I have a little piece of uh, fabric and a safety pin, okay? There is nothing fancy on it. Uh, I will just put the, the safety pin right through this fabric. Now you can see it all the way through this side too. Now the only way to get it off is by opening it because I can pull it this way or this way but uh, there is no way to get it off at least you open it. That is why it is called safety pin. But what about if I uh, make it uh, much complicated by spinning it, you know? right through the fabric as you can see it remains close and the fabric you can see the evidence but there is no rip on the fabric okay as you can see here uh, I have two uh, normal safety pins, 75 millimeters uh, length. Notice how um, the one over here on the left side is uh, uh, the normal one, the real one, and this is the one I did. As you notice over here in the in the point, it's a little bit shorter. You see, it barely goes over the the head uh, there is no much uh, distance between the edge and uh, the point over here I just uh, make it a little bit shorter so the fabric can slide through uh, faster you can still use in the normal one uh, which is uh, I believe I cut like about a uh, one uh, two millimeters because this is a long a larger uh, point this is a little bit shorter and I tell you why in a minute this is the one I did which is not much uh, difference um, I really um, put the pin through the fabric okay and I, I close it and everything. Now this is the way uh, it make it all the way through. Uh, if you see by doing this, by doing one spin, the fabric can slide through um, the fabric without opening it. Uh, and this is because um, the only way to do it is by spinning uh, the pin through the, um, the fabric. Okay. Now, uh, I do it twice. I spin it twice to conceal it better. This is once and this is twice. Okay. And that's it. I take in this other end and just pull it off. And you see it's still penetrating um, but it, you know these 75 millimeters uh, pins safety pins yeah the, the wire you know it is a little bit thick so it's gonna be it's gonna leave the marks okay which is gonna help for evidence so it doesn't uh, it doesn't mislead people that you are switching uh, pieces of the fabric so they can still see the evidence over here and the pin can be uh, examined now that I want you to see the difference with this other one this is the normal real size uh, and like I said the difference is just the, the point is a little bit larger that's why uh, 
and because of that it's gonna damage a little bit more the, when it slides through the fabric will you still be able to perform it you see but here it leaves uh, more marks that's why it's better just to cut it off the point just a little bit depending on the length of the of the, the you just want to go barely um, into the head okay you can see over here the, the distance I cut it and then I sharp the point myself now this is in and of itself not a performance it's just a technique this is actually the, the way I end up on the linking pins routine this is the last part of the performance when the pin penetrates the fabric you can show over here and the back as uh, evidence you, know. you can use a handkerchief and but make sure you spin it twice and take this end you can uh, rub it off as a show off and just pull the, the pin hold it over here so you minimize the the movement of the fabric and there you go you can rub it a little bit so it removes any damage just in case you know it minimizes the any damage and you can see the holes right here and that's it